I remember when I found it. The place was very old, and the ceiling-high shelves were full of rotting volumes. I was going through the heaps when I found it. It was dark and forbidden. I remember the old man. He just scowled. He wouldn't take my money for it. Later I came to realize why. <laughs> I hurried home through the narrow and winding waterfront roads. As I did, I had a frightful impression of someone or something watching me from the shadows. When I arrived home, I ascended to the attic. This was my private place for study of strange and unusual things. The book talked of many dark secrets to our universe, including other worlds besides ours. It told of passages and gateways to other worlds and to a forbidden knowledge. That night I made five circles of fire on the floor and chanted a passage from the book. The walls melted away and I was swept into darkness. I awoke on a mountain, lying under stars forming strange constellations. All I saw was a path, one single path, leading up a mountainside to a cave. I entered the cave and marveled at the strange and alien writings and structures. Someone else was in that cave. I tried leaving, but the doorway was gone. I was trapped. The creature approached me and gave me a key. I recognized a symbol on the key from the book. I didn't see any locks here, so I decided I'd go further into the cave. At the end of the passage, I found a locked door. The strange key fit. I opened the door, and I stepped through the gateway into another world. The book spoke of this place, place of the dark secret. I peered into oblivion, I saw madness, I saw pain, and I saw suffering. A darkness consumed me. When the light returned, I was back in the cave, but I wasn't the same as when I left. You see, there are certain horrors that man was just never meant to know, and there are certain books that man was just never meant to read.